Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to solve nonlinear systems by substitution. If you've completed the previous videos here, the quadratics videos on the playlist, as well as the introduction video, today's lesson will be a lot easier for you. So let's dive right in. Example 1, solve the system by substitution. So here we have our system, our two functions like that. We're going to rewrite equation 2 as y equals x minus 1. Right, put the y over here, 1 on the other side like that. And then we're going to plug that into equation 1. So you see this y here, we're going to replace it with x minus 1. So that's what it looks like right here. Now we're going to put everything on one side. So we'll put it on the other side like that. So 0 equals x squared plus 2x. We can factor out an x, so x times x plus 2 like that. And so we want to know what values do you plug in to get 0, right? That's what it means to solve this equation. So we notice x equals 0 or x equals negative 2. So when x equals 0, we plug that in and we get y value equals negative 1. And so this is one of the solutions, 0 comma negative 1. The other one occurs when x equals negative 2. So we plug that into our equation here and we get y equals negative 3. And so the other solution is negative 2, negative 3. So we notice that there are two intersection points for this system. Two solutions for the system. Different ways of saying the same thing. So we're going to check our answer. When you're doing a test, I highly recommend you check your answers because you'll know right away if you got it right or not. So we're checking 0, negative 1. We're going to plug it into this first function, and we get negative 1 equals negative 1. That's good. We plug it into the second function, 1 equals 1, so that's perfect. So it was 0 comma negative 1 is a solution to both of those systems, uh, sorry, both of those equations. And so we have our second point, negative 2, negative 3. Plug that in our first equation, we get negative 3, negative 3, no problem. Plug it into our second function, and we get 1 equals 1, which is perfect. So we have solution 0, negative 1, and solution negative 2, negative 3. Okay, B. So we're going to put equation 2 into equation 1, so it's already isolated for us. So we're going to replace that in here as such. We're going to expand this to be x squared minus 4x plus 4, like that. We're going to put everything on one side, and so this is what we have, 0 equals x squared minus 2x plus 1. We can factor it, product 1, sum negative 2. The two numbers are negative 1, negative 1. So we can rewrite this as x minus 1 times x minus 1. The solution, what do you plug in to get 0, is 1. When x equals 1, we plug that into our equation, y equals 2. And so our solution is 1 comma 2. And I'll leave it for an exercise for you to check that it is the correct solution to verify your answer. Okay, C. We're going to do equation 2 into equation 1 again like that. We're going to expand this side, put it all on one side like that. Using our quadratic formula, we plug all our stuff in. A is 1, B is negative 1, C is 3. This leads us to 1 plus or minus root negative 11 over 2. We cannot have root of a negative number in the real numbers, so there's no real solution. Therefore, the system has no real solution. So this system has no solution. Okay, D. See, we have two parabolas here. We're going to put equation 2 into equation 1 like that expand both sides, put it all on one side, and so we get 2x squared minus 2x. We can factor out 2x like that. So what do we plug in to get 0? x equals 0 or x equals 1 like that. When x equals 0, we we'll plug it into our first one here like that. When x equals 0, y equals 5. So that's our first solution. When x equals 1, we plug it in, we get y equals 2 like that. And so 1 comma 2 is the second solution. So these are the solutions to the system. Okay, E, another example here. Two parabolas. Equation 2 into equation 1, we get that. We're going to put it all on one side. There we go. 
A is 2, B is 3, C is 3. We plug that in on our quadratic formula and we get root negative 15. We cannot have that, no real solution. Therefore, the system has no solution. Okay, practice number one. Here we go. Solve the system by substitution. A, B, C, and D. Go ahead and pause the video and answer that. Okay, we're back. A, we're going to iso uh, isolate y in our second equation, so we get x plus 2. Plug that into our first equation, so we get this. Put it all on one side, x squared minus 1. This factors to x plus 1, x minus 1. What do you plug in to get 0? Minus 1 and 1 like that. When x equals negative 1, we plug that into our function and we get y equals 1. When x equals 1, we plug that into our function and we get y equals 3. And so these are the two solutions to the system. Negative 1, 1 and 1, 3. Okay, B. We're going to plug equation 2 into equation 1 like that. Put it all on one side. We can factor out the x like that. So we have two solutions. x equals 0 or when this part equals 0, which gives x being 5 over 2. So when x equals 0, we plug it into our function here and we get y equals 1. So 0 comma 1. When x equals 5 over 2, we plug that into our second function here, and we get y equals negative 4. And so these are the two solutions to the system. Okay, C. Second equation equals first equation like this. Right, we're gonna, sorry, we're going to substitute second equation into the first equation. Expand both. Put it all on one side, and we get x equals 2 like that. So we plug in x equals 2 into our second function like that. We get y equals 1. So our solution to the system is 2 comma 1. D. First function, second function. We're going to substitute the second one into the first like that. Expand here. We notice that we get the same thing on both sides. We put it all on one side, we get 0 equals 0. That means there are infinitely many solutions, and so they are the same parabolas. And that's it. It's that easy. I'll see you guys in the next video.